you should be most welcome to Jimmerism Total Nerdery Channel. Today I will present you the Vodstena. Here you can see, she's coming. A nice little Swedish town, idyllic in everything, with some uh, important buildings included. We of course have a Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve adaption of uh, how moving cities could perhaps uh, look like if it was possible. But um, here you can see it's coming and it's pretty cool. I think that uh, the concept of moving cities works pretty well in From the Depth. It just... <laughs> you can really get that feeling that we have an actual moving city coming on. Slow motion. Yes. And I will show you some pictures of the original buildings of the Vodstena town compared to the buildings in my town which is Vodstena on wheels, of course. And if you're wondering, it's, it's a small, old town uh, in Sweden. It's old, but not very big. It's bigger than this, though. <laughs> a lot bigger, <laughs> to be honest. So, here we have the actual town of Vodstena. And here we have my adaptation. Here we have the old castle in Vodstena, a defensive... Um, operation that I have of course included in the front line of this city. We have some streets. And I have some streets. They're less fancy because I didn't find any suitable signs to make. We have the red tower. And I also have the red tower. And we lastly have the old church. And of course I also have the old church. Beautiful! The important buildings are with us, and let us see perform in a battle. Because of course, this, as any other from the depth vehicle, is adapted to fight. Because that's what we do. Isn't it? It is. It's really what we do. One just gotta love watching the action of such a build. I'm definitely gonna move on to oh, the shots make some more land vehicles, because land vehicles work quite nice now in From the Depth. And you can see, even though this is a town that mostly kind of looks cool, it does also offer some resistance against at least um, easier factions, as we do have a lot of simple weapons. And I mean, to be fair, you know, it's a lot of cheap materials that this is built from. Oh no! Watch out! Ouch! That's why we have the uh, top tower in uh, metal. And of course I painted the metal green to make it look like erodated or uh, patinated copper um, that you have on roofs, you know. At least in Europe. Works pretty well. And of course we also have weaponized the old defensive towers uh, with cannons as it probably had. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what type of cannons it had, but I fitted some nice cannons in there. Later we're, we're going to go uh, and do a little walkthrough of this entire city, because you can walk all around it, and most buildings are indeed have some kind of interior. We're just going to fight off this atlas. Hard hit thing. But, <laughs> we have so many buildings, I think we're pretty immune. Um, and we do regenerate. Well, that's one bonus. And here we are. Here we are and in the steering front of it, and we can walk around on it. Unfortunately, uh, you can't kind of walk around smooth and relaxed, as I would have wanted to, because in front of the depth, uh, your character is always running around like this. It doesn't matter too much. But I'm going to show it to you as best as I can. We can walk around on it and you can see we have some beautiful places we can stay in and we have a nice view too. I kind of just want to actually be able to uh, walk um, to a real, a real moving town. And we have some small anti-air cannons. You know, I don't think they are, they are very strong but they are kind of nice. You can climb up here and get down. 
But anyways, here we have the church, and I had to make the church a lot smaller than it actually is, because, you know, I had to fit everything on my uh, base plate I built. <laughs> so, uh, the streets is probably the part of the town which I'm least happy with, but the interiors of many of the places are really nice. Uh, I tried to use the signs to make signs, but they didn't want to stick side uh, ways or on like sides on the buildings like that, so it didn't work very well. Wish they update the signs a little bit. I think this is a great little design. And the new alloy texture looks very nice. Oops. <laughs> Can't uh, not shoot when you go through things, you know. Anyways. We have some complex buildings like this, of course, but um, they're not very useful, so... I wish, though, that it was possible to walk around a little smoother and a little more relaxed instead of running around like a complete maniac. This is actually only a mortar, so <laughs> won't bother to look into that one too much. The red tower does have interior, kind of, almost, but it's a little bit crammed, <laughs> as everything. I like this little brass pikes I put on to uh, many of the uh, flat uh, cylinder turrets. And I also love that we have several layers of construction. Like this city has uh, several platforms which I stuck together with a lot of uh, um, stars and stuff. And it just makes the whole thing feel a lot more living. I think this is one of my favorite um, builds, like the interior of this little coffee shop. And well, here we can see the engines from this little house. And we are going to look at the engines as well, because we have both um, fuel and steam. This is a nice little place where I actually built the whole thing out of a very thin plate, uh, or like uh, steel. Uh, but uh, to make the windows I had to use these, um, what are they called, hatch ways. So we have some uh, kind of almost efficient engines. On top of that we have our main steam engine, which does produce a lot of power. And these together with our uh, very realistic coal pile does produce all the energy we need for this uh, city to move. Pretty neat. I think so. And oh my god, that those small uh, anti-air cannons are just so RP friendly. <clears throat> Yep, who of course has a lot of side cannons, really like that, just uh, adds the feeling to that uh, having a kind of broadside land barge thing. In any case, the defensive, uh, I think this is actually a kind of castle with ballrooms and stuff, but in my version it's just storage areas. And <laughs> this is of course only fits the tech for the cannons basically. <laughs> I fitted a little cannon on my own and of course a lot of uh, older cannons and I, as I thought it would fit the theme a little bit more. I had to make this little battery too, I thought it was kind of cool. In any case, I've just filled the place with uh, small anti-air cannons because they just look so nice. And uh, we also have a little command bridge up top, so we're gonna walk up here. And here you can see, it's just a little steering facility where you can kind of see out and uh, decide where and how to go. Kind of makes sense. A little practical adaptation that um, probably does fit. So well, there you have it. This is Vodstena on wheels. I hope you do enjoy this little build, and if you did, Please leave a like and ask me in the comments if you want me to upload this so you can download it. In any case, have a great time. This is your host, Jim Odessen, signing out.